I think we can all agree now that the Egghead Island arc is gonna go down as a legendary arc in One Piece. Every chapter has literally been straight heat, and chapter 1080 is no exception. This entire chapter, we're not even on Egghead Island. We're on Beehive Island, which is Blackbeard's base. So you know this chapter is gonna be a banger. One week we get a Shanks chapter, and the other we're getting a Blackbeard chapter. Oda knows what he's cooking. So the chapter follows up with Kobe and what he's currently doing. Kobe has somehow managed to escape the clutches of the Blackbeard pirates. He's still shackled up, but he's running around the island. Island, and in this chapter we get a lot. Firstly, we get the reveal and names of a lot of the Blackbeard Pirates Devil Fruit. So for starters, we have the corrupt king of Alopizarro, and he has the island island fruit. With this fruit, it seems like he's capable of controlling the island. He seems like a more upgraded version of Pika from Dressrosa. His fruit seems broken to me. It seems like he knows where everything is on the island. He's able to move certain buildings and stone and rock. Even Shiryu of the Rain says, hey, you could have caught him, Pizarro, talking about Kobe. Then we get Vasco Shot's Devil Fruit, which is basically Basically the glug glug fruit, he's the liquor human. Uh, I guess he's able to control alcohol is what it seems like. We see him in this chapter capable of riding these alcoholic bubbles. On top of that, I'm guessing they're flammable, so maybe he could do something with that, which is what it seems like. We then get San Juan Wolf. Now, we already knew what San Juan Wolf's fruit was, but we didn't know the name of it. It's actually called the Giant Giant Fruit. Anyway, so we get a flashback to when Kobe was captured by Blackbeard, and we find out what Blackbeard's goal is with Kobe. Blackbeard wants to turn Kobe into the world government in order to make a negotiation deal. That negotiation is that he will give them Kobe in order for them to turn Beehive Island island into an actual world government sanctioned island and Blackbeard will be the king of the island. However, Kobe reveals to Blackbeard that this is an insane plan and it won't work because Kobe is a part of Sword. We get more information on Sword this chapter, which I love. It even seems like Blackbeard didn't know what Sword was, but Aokiji did and Aokiji explains what Sword is to Blackbeard. And he basically says the way he sums it up is that Sword members are Marines, but they're not Marines at the same time. They're Marines by name and like aesthetic, but they don't follow the Marine code, meaning they'll take actions that certain Marines won't, right? So the world government doesn't really care about them. They don't care if they die, they don't care if they get injured, they don't care if they fire them either. Then throughout the rest of the chapter, we have the Marines attacking Beehive Island. These are the Sword Marines. So we get some new characters here that we've never seen before. One of them is Kujaku. She's a rear admiral and she's actually the granddaughter of Suru. She has the whip whip fruit and with this fruit, it seems like she's able to like manipulate things by whipping them. Then we have Navy HQ Commander Hibari who has this futuristic rifle that turns things into flowers, I believe. Then we have another rear admiral by the name of Gross and and he actually has like the clay fruit, uh, uh, the goo goo fruit. And it seems like he's able to create golems and stuff like that, which is very cool. Anyway, so the Marines are attacking in order to save Kobe. And then we have probably the most epic moment of the chapter where we cut to Garp's ship and their ship is launched into the sky in the middle of Beehive Island. Garp jumps out. He like puts his fizz back and just throws a massive punch. And that punch is called Galaxy Impact. And we could see the Conqueror's hockey lightning just spewing everywhere. So yes, this chapter also confirms that Garp has, you know, Conqueror's hockey. He even praises Kobe as he throws this punch. He's like, hey, that's the future of the Marines you have right there. That's my pupil. Also, Kobe seems a lot more competent, right? The progression of Kobe has literally been insane. He was an incompetent little kid back in the day. Now he's literally running away, saving people on the Beehive Island and doing a lot on his. On top of that, we actually kind of understand how the bounty system for cross guild works so they put a bounty on kobe's head it's a star system and depending on how much stars you have is how many chests you get so kobe's a five star bounty uh that means they're gonna get five golden chests which is probably they said around, roughly around 500 million berries damn so cross guild and buggy are rich anyways once again this was a great chapter i hope i pointed out details you probably missed and i hope you guys enjoyed this review i think this was a solid chapter i think one piece recently has just been so good and so entertaining i've been waiting for chapters every single week and i think we're going on break again so we're probably gonna have to wait two weeks here anyways just another great chapter of one piece overall last week we had a shanks chapter this week we have a blackbeard chapter what more do you guys want right also i do promise to make more one piece content i feel like i've been slacking a little bit on the one piece content on my channel so i do want to make more one piece content don't get it twisted but it seems like y'all love the other content as well just me talking about like anime i'm watching and stuff i'm currently doing which is good you know i i, li I like to get closer to you guys and you know maybe get to know each other a little bit better but listen if you want more anime content one piece content make sure you subscribe to the post notification bell and i'll see you guys next time peace out, everyone